Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the top reinforcing at a discontinuous edge. So in the previous video, we looked at the continuous edge, which was the edge there and there for slab one. Now we're looking at the discontinuous edge, which is there and there. And once again, it's top reinforcing because our slab will be hogging in that region. So we call this the top reinforcing. And this is because this is hogging. So the, the steel reinforcement has to be at the top to take the hogging moment because that's where the tension will be at the top. So what we're going to do is first look at the code. So this clause here, 6.10.3.2, and we're looking at part C. So this part reads, so it's part C of 6.10.3.2. It says the negative design bending moment, so the hogging moment, um, at a discontinuous edge where there is a likelihood of restraint may be taken as 0.5 times the mid-span values, all right? So, we saw in the previous video that all we need to do is just multiply the area we found for the bottom reinforcing sagging. So we know that the area of steel we need is just 0.5 times the area we found for bottom, bottom steel, and that was at mid-span. So all it's gonna be is 0.5 times the area in the bottom. So we found that in the previous videos, so quite a few videos back, to be 497 millimeters squared per meter. So times this by 497 millimeters squared per meter, we'll find that the area of steel required is 249 millimeters squared. We also then just need to check that against our minimum steel requirements. So that minimum steel requirement is 338. So we've found that before. So this is um, less than 338. So this is a different case now. Every time before, this value has been larger than 338. So you can see that the minimum steel requirement we need is 338, except this is giving us 249. So therefore, the amount of steel we need is going to be the minimum steel requirement of 338 millimeters squared per meter. We then have to